Hello, Aries. We have a beautiful connection here that is new. Funny thing is, is you both have been through the ringer with other connections that you're swearing off ever being in one again. But guess what happens? <laughs> Let's dig in to see where this goes. <laughs> Welcome in. This is an Aries Tarot reading. It's a general reading for August 29th through September 4th. Already getting into September. This year is going so fast. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you guys. There it is. <laughs> okay. Number 10. Ra ra ra. Okay. Reduces to a one. This is about stepping into the light okay and being Aries with all that fire this should be pretty second nature it says have you had enough of the dark side of life fear doubt uncertainty anxiety frustration and believing that you cannot manifest your dreams are signs you've been in the darkness too long it's your time to step out of the darkness and into the light okay this is also having about having the courage versus the anguish um having the courage to make that choice of change for yourself okay not not wallowing in anguish okay fear has no hold here let's see what energy is going to complement this energy today Hmm. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Hmm. This, this feels like a... Uh, like post-breakup breakup. Let me explain. Like a really big breakup happened... And you got over it, or they did, and then they got into a new relationship that didn't last very long, and that broke up. But it's kind of like the stuff from the bigger breakup is just kind of blazing through that smaller breakup and hitting someone really hard. It's like that big breakup wasn't digested fully. There's fallout. Okay, there's fallout. This one okay interesting okay it, it's okay let's see what's going on with Aries next week sounds eventful Two of Wands. Choice point crossroads also means new partnerships or contracts. <laughs> the Devil card of Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, Temperance card of Sag. There's your fire cousin. Ten of Cups. Queen of Swords. Strength. Leo. Energy. Okay. Okay. So this is this is okay gonna be interesting <laughs> all right to Aries I'm gonna read this side as you this side is your person and this is a situation I feel like you don't even know that this is your person yet okay it's like it's like you don't know or you don't want to know there's this vibe of just looking let me look this way let me look this way let me look every way except this way and when I look this way I'm gonna be just detached as I possibly can towards this person there's, there's this whole feeling of this person is simply a temptation. There is a lot of fear here about in the situation between you. So I don't feel like anything's actually happened between you. It's like you've come across this person after the smaller breakup, the big one, then the big one was someone else that could have, that could have been like a divorce because if it feels big, um, so something that where there's a lot of time and resources put into, that's usually a marriage, right? So 
big breakup. Then, then you tried again with someone else and that didn't work out. And there, there's kind of like this despair cycle. Okay. And you, you could end up being one of those never getting in a relationship ever again, never get married ever again. Da, 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 da. But this person comes by and I have a feeling it's like when y'all met, it wasn't even, it wasn't even in a setting where people are known to hook up. Like you didn't go to a bar and run into this person. You know what I mean? This could have been like a friend of a friend and you guys cross paths one day because of mutual contacts kind of thing. And they were just nice. You know, it was something really nonchalant. Okay. And this person is just all kinds of awesome. All kinds of awesome. It looks like there is an opportunity here for you to to collaborate on something. This is not necessarily happily ever after yet. Okay. But what tells me that this person is really attractive to you is this right here. Is the devil energy, that Capricorn energy. That is the situation between you. Okay. There's... But this is the whole wallowing in darkness, but it's like to come out here, you got to come out towards the light here. You have two, both of your fire cousins are out here now. It's just, it's just you were missing. It's just you were missing in your reading. That should be telling. It, it feels like there's a little like caught up in work, not going to look up from it until end of work day and go straight home kind of thing. It's not like, not even if you went straight home, it's like doing everything that's possible to avoid uh, romantic connection. And it's not like that's what this person is going for. This is interesting. <laughs> this is very interesting. Hmm. Let's delve, shall we? The devil. Let's expand on this situation, please. Eight of wands. Five of pentacles. Five of wands. Ace of wands. The moon. Pisces energy. Eight of cups. One more wants to come out. Ace of swords. Okay, so we have two aces here in this situation. Okay, so first and foremost, you do think this person's hot. Makes sense why you think they're, a, think they're a temptation. You do think the person is hot. Secretly think they're hot. You haven't told anybody that. And you won't tell anybody that. Okay. I feel like if you have a mutual friend that has connected the two of you or that's the connection that brought you to meet, be introduced, there's, it feels like this person is a little bit of um, a chatty. Um, For example, after you guys meeting, this person could be talking you up to their contact, to their friend, and they could be talking their friend up to you separately. Okay. And as a result, you could be kind of watching them online. <laughs> you could be kind of watching them online. You do have three of the four aces here. What's the truth here with this ace of swords, please? Real quick. I mean, the truth is you are curious. Yep, you are curious. <laughs> you are curious. Ooh. Trying to hold it. Trying to hold, oh, trying to hold off on this secret connection. Trying, okay, trying to keep it a secret to yourself. Okay, seven and seven, the tower. The, the okay. Okay. <laughs> Curious to look in on this. It looks like there could be a project that you're both associated with. And you just try to push off this inevitable breakthrough here and even so just holding back on this inner knowing that there is that, that there is something there there is something that the truth is that's the truth no matter what you try to push away there is something there okay all right eight of pentacles let's get eight of pentacles on Aries side please that four wanted to come out didn't it 
Pisces energy there with the High Priestess. Really trying to hold on to your routine so you don't stray from it and end up anywhere near this person. <laughs> ah, slowly moving toward it. So very slowly. So very slowly. There's like knowing the must express restraint. Must express restraint. Okay, temperance card or sag. What do we have here, please? Magician, queen of cups. Sun. So although you're trying to kind of loiter, you're still manifesting what would make your heart happy. More of that Leo energy. More of that Leo energy. And what would make their heart happy, please? King of Cups, Queen of Cups, the Fool. Ooh, you want your Empress. You want your match. You're still not showing up, though. See, the Emperor's way down here. Way down here, around very stable numbers, actually. Secret, the secret choice that... I, so it's so it's like you could say all day, every day, never get married, never get in another relationship, but you really want, like, your Disney-esque happy ending. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that, you know? <laughs> Queen of Swords. Let's expand on the Queen of Swords, please. That's up the swords again. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the change with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Okay. So, Taurus energy here now. Okay. Along with all that air. The truth is... <laughs> the truth is, you, you want a victory here. You do. You want a victory here. There, okay. You either really desire a Taurus. Okay. You either really desire a Taurus. We have two out of the three Earth energies here. Um, you either really desire a Taurus or you really desire a long-term romantic commitment. This is not something you will dare tell a soul. Okay. Because of how wrong things have gone before. But it looks like They've been through their own kind of endings. Ten of Swords there. Ten of Swords, King of Swords to your Queen of Swords. So y'all might be more on the same page than you think. Showing up all logical about your feelings. <laughs> okay. Let's start with the Ace of Pentacles on their side, please. What is this new venture, this Ace of Pentacles? King of Wands. Ace put Wow. The Devil twice. The Moon twice. <sighs> Tell me about this sketchiness on their side, please. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Big on that Taurus energy again. Okay. Okay, they went... Okay, so you know how you went through some shit? <laughs> they went through some too. So you both are actually regarding each other in the same kind of critical way, okay? There's no desire to rush in to make something happen with you. The funny thing is, is even though I'm getting like the feminine energies on your side, I'm getting that this is the masculine and actually that this is the feminine energy. Um, because this is particularly defensive. And that doesn't feel like they're... Not even defensive. Protective is the word. Protective is the word. They're very protective of themselves, their coin, deep feelings. They, they, they got pulled a number on. Okay. They had to escape something and 
particularly toxic particularly toxic it was bad other people another commitment they could have been in a third party situation okay they were in a toxic cycle that they did vacate they did leave they did leave to go heal themselves okay they did leave and they did close out the cycle all right they did close it so the both of you don't want nothing to do with each other So it's like, actually, they can view you as a temptation, too. You both had the had the rough end of it. So now they're really determined on new be, a new beginning. It's like, it feels, it doesn't even feel like a new beginning. It feels like a new venture. They could be, this could have been given a new job opportunity that brought them to your ne- neck of the woods versus where they were before. They're really holding back on what happened to them before, which is great because you guys have that in common. Ooh, so you both learn some big lessons, which is good because when you learn the big stuff, that's really difficult. It changes you the most, which prepares you for, you know, the better thing to come. All right. Ten of cups. Let's expand on the ten of cups here, please. Knight of pentacles. Five of wands again. The hangman. Both have the high priestess and the high friend. Wow. Okay. This is a deeply spiritual connection, this Pisces Taurus energy. So what they thought would make them happy, and it looks like it did for some kind of time. The other person involved in this drug their feet, took way too long to get something to come together. And this person was nice enough to wait for a time. All it did was cost them. All it did was cost them. Okay. And it, it, there was, it was a soul bond of sorts. High Priestess, Hierophant, Ten of Cups. It was a soul bond of sorts. There was a spiritual bond here. That's what wrecked this person so much. Is that it was the end all be all. And this person, this other person they were dealing with could not get it together. Ooh, looks like pride and comfort got in the way. Pride on on the other person's end. Okay. All right. Strength card of Leo. Let's expand on that, please. Three of Wands. <laughs> Eight of Cups, Four of Swords again. Strength again. This person is leveling up big time. Star underneath. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups. So they're going to get their wish. Yeah, the person that they were very, very clear on was their fated person blocked straight up. Blocked. Blocked love. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Only allowed the connection to grow so much. And then checked it at the door. Okay. Big soul evolution for this person. Huge. This is very much a part of their spiritual path for their growth. Um, The person who dragged their feet that has way too much pride is still watching them. Is still watching them. There is a stubbornness here unlike anything. Unlike anything. And they still watch them. Interesting. But it looks like the two of you have the chance at something new with someone new together. After going through so much crappy stuff. What else happened in this situation with the moon and the devil, please? What else happened in this situation? Queen of Pentacles, Sun. King of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Knight of Swords, the world, the star. (sighs) So little was given to this connection by this Knight of Pentacles. So little. It was, it was, it was really beautiful. It was really, really beautiful. Um, There's very much the hint of, um, Eventually, this person was treated coldly. 
in the connection, okay? And only given I'm hearing scraps. So they bolted. Okay. They were only given scraps, which tells me it's like that that third party thing was real. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended. I want to see what's going on with this King of Wands, King of Swords in their current energy. I'm going to see what's going on with them in the near future, as well as the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about this connection at this point in time, messages between you at this point in time, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye.